Hello student. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about the diversity of crypto games. So, in previous uh, lecture, we have gone through the syllabus, and in today's lecture, we are going to look towards the detail concept which is included in this particular paper, that is diversity of crypto games. So, in previous lecture, we have gone through the syllabus uh, that we know that. The diversity of crypto games is the first paper which is included in our syllabus and morphology of angiosperm is the second uh, paper and based on these two different paper there will be a practical so this is nothing but the total scenario related to the botany and uh, in accordance to this uh, another subject is there that that we can say skill enhanced subject is also included in our syllabus so i am going to talk about the diversity of cryptograms in today's lecture now when we look at the unit number one of this paper we can see that there is inclusion of viruses general characteristics of viruses classification and as based on the economic uh, importance based on the host along with that we are also going to concentrate on the structure that is tobacco mosaic virus structure and the multiplication of the same we are going to discuss in the unit number one not only virus but also uh, mycoplasma is also included in unit number one and related to the mycoplasma we are going to discuss the general characteristics of this mycoplasma then the uh, third parameter which is included in syllabus that is bacteria in bacteria we are going to concentrate on the general structure ultra structure of bacteria classification based on the shape uh, then reproduction and economic importance of the uh, bacterial cell these things we are going to discuss in unit number one now the last point which is included in unit number one is uh, cryptogams that is general characteristics classification then the next point which is included is lichen for lichen we are going to concentrate on the general characters of lichen nature or and association of the uh, forms of thalli then economic importance of lichen structure and reproduction in usnia so usnia is one of the example which we are going to con consider for the lichen and we are going to concentrate on this lichen so in today's lecture we are going to talk about the viruses now as we know that viruses are the non-living structures or we called it as a particles which is present in nature and they will get active when they will get the uh, particular type of host so they are a obli obligate parasite or we can say the viruses are the non-living particles which will get activated when they will get the proper type of host. So they are host specific and that's why they are known as the uh, obligate parasite. Viruses is neither an organism nor a cell. We considered virus as a particle as they don't show any uh, resemblance with the living uh, organism or characters of the living organism they are known as the uh, particles they are known as the non living uh, structures now it consists of core of nucleic acid that is dna or rna and this dna or rna enclosed in an external mantle or covering known as or made up of protein so protein is the external covering the free state virus are quite inert they remain as it is for the long duration uh, until they will get a proper type of host they become activated only when they infect the living host cell and in the process only nucleic acid core enter the host cell and it will starts to multiply and produce the large number of cells uh, of the viruses the nucleic acid which is genetic substance takes over metabolic activity of the host cell and utilizes the cell machinery for the formation of more viruses so uh, in simple way we can say that viruses don't have a particular type of 
functional structures they will utilize the host uh, parameters and they will become the uh, active and they utilize the uh, different parameters of the host cell thus viruses are cellular parasites that cannot reproduce by itself so they required a particular type of uh, reproductive material for their production so here this is nothing but the simple structure of the uh, viral uh, virus or viral viral structure so here you can see external envelope protein is there then the again envelope is there that is also made up of protein beyond that inside to that you can see in viral integument is there and inside to the parameter we call viral genome is present the viral genome is either made up of dna or rna one of them is there now type of viruses so depending on the dip, their uh, host we can say that viruses are of different types say for example here the bacteriophages are given then adenovirus is given then immuno human immunodeficiency virus is their uh, structures when we compare we can see there will be a lot of difference between this particular type of viruses not only these these viruses are also known as host specific and they will grow only in a particular type of host for example bacteriophages will grow only in a bacterial cell they will not grow in a animal cell then uh, human immunodeficiency virus that is hiv virus is particularly for the humans it will cause the viral infection to the human only so they are host specific they cannot grow in a other host now in upcoming lecture we are going to concentrate on the classification of the viruses based on their host so up till then watch this video two times to understand the concept of viruses and take down the uh, notes related to the viruses